All right. We've loaded in, pillaged treasure chests, won our fights, and found loot galore. Our inner goblins say more, but our pockets say pray for the devs to finally implement resourcefulness, making our bags bigger. In the meantime, we can try to min-max how much value we're getting from the loot we're bringing back to our dragon hordes. But how do we do this? Well, turns out loot isn't all the same, so let's take a close look at what's trash and what's treasure. What we're going to focus on is how much gold an item gives us per slot in our inventory, which I'll refer to as gold per slot from now on. Let's start with the trinkets that are intentionally just for selling to the vendors for gold. Currently, we have four different categories of trinkets just based on their size. For the one slot items, we have bangles, gems, and some miscellaneous items. These items are, for most of your situations, going to be the most desirable things to loot from the dungeon as they give the best gold per slot out of all of the items. Anytime a one slot is a higher rarity than another one slot, take the better rarity item as it is worth heaps more. If you want to min-max further, you can focus on grabbing the Leaf Gold, Light Gold, Triple Gem, and Turquoise Gem bangles, any and all of the gems, and then either the Pearl Necklaces or Gold Candle Platters if it comes down to choosing between one slot items over others. For two slots, we have the Ceremonial Dagger alongside Goblets and Chalices. All the two slot items are worth the same, so nothing to min-max there, and just as a reminder, these sell values are for the item itself, so the gold per slot for these items is going to be half of what we see here. So if you have an option of looting two one-slot items, or one two-slot item, it will always be better to loot two one-slot items instead. For four slots, we have the various gold items, and we can see that as the inventory space they take up increases, the total value of these items aren't scaling up with them, so it's going to be the same focus of accruing as many one-slot items as we can. And finally, for the only six-slot item, we have the Ancient Scroll. It sells for an okay amount of gold, but just drop this item the moment you find literally anything else and need this space. I'm sure most people are aware, but the different versions of candy that are used for the holiday NPCs are always worth taking as they can range from 15 to 25 gold each and can stack up to 10 gold per slot, so just always take it. Something that a lot of people don't seem to know is that the oil lanterns actually sell for 26 gold each, making them have a value of 13 gold per slot, which is amazing and beats out all of the one slot items until they're at least a green rarity or higher, so keep an eye out for them. This short guide didn't include pricing and selling of equipment that you might find in the dungeon, but the gold per slot will still apply to those items by taking the value of what you could sell them for and just dividing it by the number of slots it takes up. If it's worse than to trinkets, just drop them, unless you particularly want to just keep the item or use it. As always, if you learned something or enjoyed the video, please leave a like below, and if you want to see more videos of mine in the future, please consider subscribing, as it is free and it helps out immensely. Cheers.